Hi, and welcome back to Pain Free Finally. I'm your host, Greg Roulette, and you're in for a delightful experience here today because I'm here with Houston's senior specialist, Dr. John Trowbridge. And this is going to be a very unique interview because he shares a very unique perspective on healing. And we're not talking about drugs, we're not talking about surgery, we're talking about actually healing folks and how you can recover your comfort and capabilities no matter how long you've suffered in pain, whether this is something that just sprouted up over the past weekend or something you've been dealing with for years and years and haven't had any answers to. You're a practicing physician with more than 40 years of experience. It's not your first day. Not my first Which day. is uh, kind of exciting. And your innovative solutions and advanced medical programs have been recognized in over five dozen volumes of Who's Who. You're a right. multi-time best-selling author, uh, written many books, many lectures across the country, around the world. You have a Distinguished Lifetime Achievement Award from your colleagues and you've uh, recently been presented with the Who's Who Lifetime Achievement Award. I'm really excited to talk to you today. Great, Greg. I'll tell you, it's just, life goes on and just gets better and better and better. It does, and, and the great thing is, not just for you, but for your patients. Correct. For the people that come in to see you, that their Correct. life gets better and better and better. And that's what we're here to talk about today, is, exactly. is how people can become pain-free finally. And I love that word, finally, because right. so many people have been going through this for so long and they've turned to traditional medicine, traditional doctors, and they, they haven't had a solution. And I, I want to kick this thing off with, with some of the key ingredients, some of the key things that people need to know to go on and, and live that happier life. Sure. Well, you know, I've been fortunate to have training and experience that other doctors just kind of dream of if they could, okay? Yeah. And part of the realization over that time is that pain doesn't just run your life, mm -hmm. it ruins your life. And very often, the, the most important thing is that drugs and surgery are not the answer. And, and that's what we're stuck with in the modern medical practice. Right. But the neatest thing is that there is relief that can be found. It is available. It's available today. Right. And, and this interview here today, me being with you, it's a huge opportunity for people to get the facts right. about true healing. Because right. it's not drugs. It's not surgery. It's not the things that you know have been ingrained in us for, for a very long time. You say that people can really get out of their pain and get on with their life. Well, absolutely. It's, it's kind of simple to see because what we do works. It really works. You know, as we go through life, we stumble and fall. We get into accidents. We have all sorts of things happen. Usually we don't go to the doctor, we don't go to the hospital, we don't, right. we don't have those kinds of crash and burns. Okay? Right. But what happens is over time, these things build up and you, you've stretched and torn and crushed your tissues and such that over the years begin to be more and more painful because your support structures, your joints don't have the healing capability that other parts of your body do. And so what they do is they cry out for help. Right. And inflammation is the signal to say, hey, we, we need Something's some more wrong. help yeah. down here. Okay. <laughs> and please, you know, bring on the healing. Well, it's limited, especially in your structured tissues, your joints, your supporting tissues. And that's what we can treat. That's why the pain goes away. The the issue usually is when that pain happens, when that inflammation mm -hmm. happens, when your body starts screaming, we go to traditional routes, right? Exactly. Like, let me let me get a prescription for this. Exactly. Let me, uh, exactly. Do I just need some knee surgery, ankle surgery, joints, you know, whatever the case is. Right. Isn't, isn't that, that's how we get hooked and that's how we get in kind of a, a, a negative recovery. It's easy to get hooked because you're sure the next visit, the next treatment, the next medication, yeah. or even operation will be the one that provides the relief. Well, I have a special expertise and I've done this for many years to relieve pain naturally because see what people need is the healing and that's the way they can become pain-free, finally. Yeah, one of the unique things that, that you've done and you've been studying for a very long time <laughs> in this treatment, um, and it's really misunderstood, right. is this concept of stem cells. Right. Now, I, I know when most people think of stem cells, they're like, oh no, I'm gonna have to read an 800-page textbook, and right. you know, something's gonna go right over my head, but you've really broken it down into a way that really everyone can understand when you're you know, working with your patients in your office, they're like, Wow, I, I get it, right? I get it, exactly. And, and it should be that simple. You know, the really big ideas are all generally pretty simple. And, and take a, an idea of like a seed. You know, mm -hmm. you plant a seed that can grow into a plant, even a tree. Yeah. And the, and the tree starts with roots and then has a trunk and then branches and then smaller branches and then little stems and leaves. Well, that's basically how you grow on the inside. It's also how you repair because stem cells are nested throughout your body mm. and they do the healing and repair when needed. That's the fun thing to understand is that this is a natural part of the healing of your body. So uh, I have it down here that, that stem cells can develop into really any number of, of tissues in the body, right? Exactly. The, the deal is, is that you need, as you go through life, 
to keep functioning. You need to be comfortable, you need to be capable, and these stem cells can reinvigorate tissues that have been injured. They yeah. can become, especially muscles, ligaments, tendons, joints. Those repair rather mm -hmm. delightfully so, so that you can keep going. And, and how do you know they're not? When you see people with canes, crutches, <laughs> wheelchairs, the, walk, yeah. the whole thing. And then you know that they haven't done it. They have not done the repair that's needed, and that's where stem cells from the outside can be magic. Wow. Now, uh, I want to talk about joints. Mm -hmm. Earlier you mentioned that, you know, when our joints start to become painful, they're crying out for repair. They want to right. be fixed, right? Right. right. Well, here, here's a great example, okay? Assume a tree that has been grafted on with all sorts of different fruits mm -hmm. for it, okay? And that one tree can then have all sorts of different fruits growing on it. Yeah. And, and the idea is stem cells can do just exactly that. They can become the different tissues and those repair the joint where they are. Mm. Or it's neat because those, those stem cells can actually travel to the joints in need of repair. So you don't have to depend just on the ones that are nested there. And when we put them in, you know, actually we can't make them go where we want them. <laughs> we can put them there. Yeah. But when they say, okay, hey, you guys had this, they can run off and do other things. They can repair other joints that we didn't treat at the time. Wow. But that, your body intended to get treated. That's, that's really powerful. Mm -hmm. So so these stem cells, they act in repair when our body's exactly. crying out for exactly. help. Uh, but a secondary benefit of that is that uh, we can actually stay younger and live longer too. Because you said they kind of do their thing, they right? They do their thing and that's kind of nice because you know, aging is a disease happening one day at a time. Right. Well, if you're aging and the tissues have an injury associated with them, then the stem cells go find these things in a lot of ways. So we don't do it specifically for that, but it's a, a great side effect, a, a great benefit. Now, uh, something that, that people have done research mm -hmm. about, I'm sure they call mm -hmm. the office, and they're talking about bone marrow transplants. Right. Is that the same thing as a stem cell treatment? Or are they in the same family, or are those two different things? Well, well, you know, they are the same kind of thing. Bone marrow transplants have been used for dozens of years to treat cancer patients and such, but what you really need to understand is that when you get any kind of injury, we call that arthritis, mm -hmm. the sports injuries, yeah. the falls and accidents and stuff, arthritis, okay? Right. And, and the neat thing is it doesn't matter how recent the injury or how long ago it was, these things can still be repaired. The unique treatment with stem cells is independent of that, it's just looking for the inflammation cry. Now, you know, this is a delightful side effect to have the anti-aging, but it's much more important to have the real treatment for right. the underlying problem. So, bone marrow transplant was designed because people had really unique problems with cancer cells, and that, that's a very elegant university level treatment. Right. These things can actually be done in the office, and it's kind of neat because they're a whole lot different than what was, you know, 25 years ago. They were oh, using yeah. cells from embryos, okay? Right. And there's some ethical issues associated with that and some other limitations. But, you know, it doesn't have to be controversial like that anymore. Now, I, I've heard, you know, uh, whether it's on the radio, whether it's on TV, mm -hmm. looking at magazines, there's so many places right now that talk about stem cell treatments, Absolutely. right? It's kind of the, one of the cool things in, in, in medicine right now. What do you do different? How are you different than all these you other know, guys? I'll, I'll tell you, it's really, um, it, it's controversial because it's so misunderstood. Right. And what is happening is that lots of doctors are confused on this. They even get into, quote, the business of administering stem cells and such not really understanding there's a whole range of so sources and supplies yeah. and different effects and treatments. And so uh, some companies are providing amniotic fluid, which is the fluid that the baby is floating right. inside the mom. Uh, there's a little problem with that. The FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, says you cannot have stem cells in amniotic fluid. Okay. N and that's because this is the product and it can't contain cells. Okay? Right. Well, okay. There are chemical factors in there that can help some healing. That's good, and yeah. people have gotten some benefit. Other people have used amniotic membrane, okay? Okay. Now, the membrane is just a little different. Um, it also does have some stem cells, but there's some issues with it. And I tell people, it's real simple, you deserve more. Right. You deserve the best cells that I choose for my own healing and future repair and such. And so when we talk about amniotic membrane, that brings up two of the major issues with regard to the treatment of the cells before you ever get them, okay? And f so first off, you have to realize that uh, membrane itself is limited by the FDA to using in eye surgery. And incidentally, it's quite effective there. Okay. Okay, it's very effective there. Nice. But 
you know, people uh, who are preparing the amniotic membrane uh, chop and blenderize it. When you uh, blenderize it and such, uh, you uh, have all sorts of uh, manipulations you have to do now to this product that you've produced. And again, I tell people, you deserve better. You deserve right. what I use for me, for my healing and future right. health. And so, um, you know, when you talk about tissues, it's, it's different than what people are thinking. So placenta, for example. Right. Okay. Uh, again, you have to chop and, and blenderize it and filter it. And, you know, there's other processing that we'll, we'll discuss in a minute. But, you know, it, it's just if this is what's available, it's going to do something. It's going to help somehow. Right. But it's not enough because there really are better products available. Now, <laughs> something else that's interesting uh, with this is umbilical cord tissue. Right. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay, again, we're talking just like placenta tissue. You've got to chop it up, blenderize, filter it, and stuff like that. Yep. And, and there's no question that there are stem cells there, and people will get some effect. And then there's Horton's jelly, it's, and it's a funny little name, but if you squeeze the cord, you get kind of a gelatinous material out, and again, you can filter and play and chemically treat that and such. Yeah. But that brings in the special processing issues, okay? So you're talking about, you know, blending some of this stuff. You're talking about the, you know, these processes that right. they, they alter the performance of the cells, and that, that's not good, is oh, it? Oh, yeah, there's a little issue there, isn't it? <laughs> there's okay. there's got to be, right? You know, you know it, it's simple to understand that these can be a real concern, like, for instance, using radiation to sterilize because some of these tissues potentially could be infected and such. Right. Well, of course, if you're killing bacteria, you're also killing the cells. The good stuff, yeah. The good stuff. Now, again, some of the chemicals that will go along with it, the natural compounds and such, will aid with healing. But then again, you know, they're using enzymes to break apart clusters of cells and such. Mm -hmm. That changes the character of it. Uh, some of the chemicals that are used to treat the tissues, uh, some of them are so important you actually have to rinse them off in the office before you administer the cells. Yeah. Because all these are done by manufacturers elsewhere, and you're depending on them to produce the best product. Well, they're producing the best one they know how, and that's a right. little bit of a glitch. Uh, you, you have to spin and filter some of these things. Well, uh, some of the cells don't like being spun too hard. I'm and sure. And a yeah. lot of the cells don't like being filtered. Uh, one company told one of my friends, well, you know, but we, we filter that to, to get rid of those things. It, doesn't that take out the cells too? Right. Oh. Yeah. Really? De okay. Defeating the we're, purpose, yeah. We're just thinking about this now? Yeah. So, you know, many of the products that, that patients have received as stem cells in this country, there's, you know, several hundred clinics now offering stem cells. Right. And, and I tell patients, you know, you deserve more. You deserve the best that I rely on for my own right. healing and future health. And as you're watching this, you deserve more, and I hope that you're you're paying attention to some of this. And it's really yeah. eye-opening. And I'm going to read this because this is something you told me, and it, it blew my mind because mm -hmm. there's doctors out there that are advertising they will suck out a patient's own fat. Exactly. And they will get stem cells from that. Exactly. That seems crazy to me. Uh, it seems crazy, but you know, plastic surgeons have been doing liposuction for years. Right. Modeling the tissues and such like that. Yeah. Well, okay, there are stem cells in the fat. There are some. Okay. okay. But there's a lot of fat globules, there's red blood cells, and there's, you know, other stuff. And so you have to take it in the back room and do some monkey magic on it, whatever that is. Yeah. Okay. And you kind of hope that all of this is done with sterile technique. Right. You kind of hope that somebody is trained to do it and not, you know, have gone to a weekend course and figured out something. Exactly. You kind of hope that the assistants who are helping them have some training and, and actually do it right. Right. You know, a lot of times people won't have training, but they cut corners. Of course. And if it's in the back room, you might not know. Right. And that's where it gets uh, kind of weird. But can it work? Oh, it definitely can work, okay? But the guy who, uh, developed uh, 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 techniques used in a lot of the clinics, uh, was quoted in, in 2016, uh, it's actually in my book, that uh, if the soup that is obtained, that's what they call it, yeah. uh, actually has stem cells in it, then the, the patient uh, might have a good chance of getting some improvement. Wow. And you go, okay, wait a minute, we're going through a lot of hoopla for might have a chance might. for some good improvement. Right, and that's not what I want if I'm, mm, I'm in no. pain and I'm sore and I don't want a mite. Um, if this treatment is going to help, you need to have repair. Mm -hmm. And the healing and repair that you get, it depends on several limiting factors, and the first of which is, you know, the, the cells that are obtained. Well, if they're your cells, okay, guess what? They're as old as you are. They've had the same number of birthdays. <laughs> right. they've, they've been through the same uh, stresses that you've had in your life, the accidents, the illnesses, the medications and such. 
and, and all these stresses that we survive over time include toxic exposures to chemicals and metal. Yep. They include nutritional deficiencies and such. So people are excited when they get the benefits of improvements from the liposuction treatment right? because they haven't seen benefit before. But if that's a limited amount of benefit, and it has some risks, and it has some discomforts, Yeah, you're kind of stuck with what you got, thinking yeah. you got the best that was available. But you know, if excellent results are available, I tell people, you deserve more. You do. You deserve what I choose the best for me, for my own healing and future health. Yeah, and if you're watching this right now and you're in pain, you know, I, I, we've talked about some of the, you know, other doctors that are out there, some of the other treatments are out there, some, right. of, the, some of the things to be, to be wary of. Right. What do you use on yourself, and then what do you use on your patients? How, how do you help them to get pain-free, finally? Okay, now you're talking. I use cells that are specially prepared by a federally registered tissue bank. Okay. They, they're in the business. They've been doing this for many years, providing materials for surgeons. Okay? All right. And this is a very special stem cell product that is totally under their control. My patients get cells from umbilical cord blood. All right. Okay. So it doesn't have to be chopped up and filtered and stuff like that. Which is good. We like that. They're ethically obtained at scheduled cesarean section deliveries. The mothers are volunteers. The company is in total control of every detail. And the babies aren't harmed. The mothers are all volunteers. They're, they're extensively questioned, kind of very personal involvement, of right. course. And then blood is collected and tested before and at the time of delivery, and then everything goes into quarantine. Now, I love this process, and I love that they're mm -hmm. volunteering, I love that there's testing, uh -huh. and, and that gives it a little bit of, of safety for us when we're using the product, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And that's what you want. The company actually performs more tests than the FDA requires. Mm -hmm. When they came to inspect their final readiness for distribution, they've only been available for the last two and a half years. When they came, they said, you know, you require a lot more tests than we do. And, yeah. and the company said, yes, but that's what we require Yeah, to do it right. Mm -hmm. And so they said, okay, then we'll hold you to that standard. You're setting the bar for yourself regardless. And so what you get is safe, young, vibrant, enthusiastic cells ready to go to work healing inside your, your body. Yeah. A and the important thing is they go in and direct healing that hasn't happened before. The exciting thing is becoming pain-free finally. You know, some of my patients say, well, you know, uh, I, I've heard that, you know, I can't do things for weeks that could be painful and stuff, and I go, uh, please, no. Right. That's not the way it's supposed to work. No, not at okay. all. Not at We're all. It's supposed to get better, right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, the special healing factors that are in these cells are not rinsed away, they're preserved. And, and these are uh, dozens of natural compounds mm -hmm. that make the healing process work even better. They amplify the effect of the cells. And, and so those cells in that injured area can get all the benefit that you used to have when you were a kid, yeah. bouncing, busting, whatever, and heal very quickly. Yeah. You know, we used to do operations on kids. Uh, we, we'd do this big operation, send them home in the next day or two where adults would be in the hospital for a week. For days, yeah. Yes. That's crazy. That, that, that is totally crazy. And you know, what I love is that you're taking kind of that, that extra step, making sure that you're getting from a pure source. Right. You know, they're going through this testing, you got real PhDs <laughs> on staff. Right, right. You're really not into these, you know, fake claims that, that no. mislead patients. Because no. it's easy to make a quick buck when it's a hot health it's trend. It's a hot topic, right? exactly. It, definitely. And, and there's, you know, a lot of lectures going on around the cities and on the internet and so on. And, yeah. You know, doctors can purchase so-called stem cells from upstart companies anywhere. I mean, all you have to do is just find somebody that'll sell you the product, you relabel and you send it out and such. Yeah. It's a business office, a relabeling business. It's not a research business. The risks are real with stem cells. They're, they're not just, you know, oh, well, we just got this injection today. You know, yeah. the risks are real and the chemicals and the processing can be really risky. So they have to be done exactly right. Yeah. And the, you know, the FDA even has questions about, you know, number one, where did they come from? Uh, who knows where around the world, yeah. how were they actually processed, and did the doctor have training, were the assistants trained, are sterilization techniques being used, is this right for you, or does it pose what would be called an undue risk, okay? Mm -hmm. we're, we're not doing this for risk, we're doing this, number one, safe, Yeah. number two, effective, first safe. Yeah. Of course, you, you want it to be safe, but I, I love that second thing that you said is, is effective. And with so many people going to these, these clinics that are uh -huh. popping up, these new docs uh -huh. that are offering uh -huh. this, you really believe that what you're offering is, is different. Oh, and it, it, and is. it really is safe and beneficial. It is. You know, some places don't even have a physician on staff or 
don't have a physician there in the clinic when they're being that administered. That sounds and, crazy. And assistants are doing it. Uh, uh, okay. But, you know, the doctor's trained in the medical school and with the anatomy classes and all this stuff. I want results without risks or discomforts. And I Definitely. tell patients, you deserve more. You deserve the best that I use for me, yeah. for my healing and repair. Now, uh, and your group, I mean, again, with the PhDs, with all of that, but, but they also go through rigorous testing. And they test not just once, they test often. Repeatedly, and, and I have to tell you this. First of all, they have very rigorous rejection criteria, okay? Mm -hmm. And so what they do is, if these don't pass, then they're going, I don't care what we spent to acquire them. And, and they have like a 20 to 30 percent rejection rate. Mm -hmm. And then when they repeatedly test, if the batch fails, the whole batch is gone. Wow. That sample, who knows what else is a problem. And so, you know, I'm kind of cautious. I don't want to expose me or my patients. It's, it's kind of a wild west out there. That's why you get such wonderful results is exactly. because you go through this process. Exactly. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, let's talk about the folks who are watching right now because mm -hmm. one of the main groups that you are focused on using mm -hmm. the stem cell treatment with right now mm -hmm. is, uh, is joint pain. Mm -hmm. So talk to me a little bit about the joint pain, how this works with stem cells, and, and how you're helping these folks. Gosh, it's very simple. You come in, and, and we use actually fairly significant selection of criteria because I spend time talking patients out of doing stem cells if there's a better way or an easier way or a less expensive way. Yeah. If they can get the result, that's what they're after. They're after the result, not right. the procedure. And I don't care how I get there. Exactly. Yeah, I just want exactly. to be pain free. Yeah. And, and so the deal is, is that we know that our lab produces a quality product because they're testing all the time. And I'm producing a quality result because I'm testing the patient in terms of making sure that what we're doing is right. It's, you know, an up or down thing in terms of yes or no, you get them or you don't. And if I say you don't, I, I can tell you don't. Right. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna do it. No, exactly. And, and, and the deal is, is that um, if quality control is important with the lab, it's important for me as well. And so, you know, what I'm looking for is I expect that every sample of cells that I inject is going to do the difference. So what they do is they go in and they instruct your cells, hey, you guys have been a little bit lazy over here. Don't you notice this? How about that? What over here? And the inflammation is the signal to tell what's going on and where to do it right. Yeah. They tell you to repair yourself. And then they kind of nest and stay around for a while. And I happen to know this because of patients of mine who have been re-injured later and they say, well, what about more stem cells? And I go, well, well, wait, let's see what happens. And a week later, they're all better. Yeah. I personally re-injured myself 11 months after getting stem cells from my knee. And guess what? 30 hours later, the re-injury was gone. I was no 30 longer living hours 30 later. hours later. Wow. Because I'm going, oh, more stem cells? No, this is 11 months after my injection. And the knee just did fine. Just, it, it did its it thing. Did fine. I mean, that, that just shows the power of it and also the exactly. speed of it. Exactly. Um, and exactly. again, it gets you pain free, exactly. finally. Exactly. You, know? well, you have to remember, the cells that we get actually come with a, a diploma when they come to the office. Okay? All right. It's, it's called a certificate of conformance. And what yep. it is, is the signature from the lab that this batch yeah. meets our standards. It conforms to everything we expect. Isn't that what you expect from your doctor? You know, you, you want the Definitely. best every time. You don't want your doctor to be off this day that you visit or whatever. You don't want the cell product to be off. Yeah. You want it to be the best. Exactly. Um, and this is actually producing dramatic improvements in, oh, yes. in, in, in your patients. So oh, I yes. know you just talked a little bit about the example mm -hmm. of your own knee, but mm -hmm. your patients are, are seeing huge turnarounds. Huge differences. We have a, a lady recently who canceled her knee surgery. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, be, be sure you're careful about this and get all your questions answered. And she said, nope, I want to do the cells. And so I said, well, you'd be an ideal patient. And within days, she's walking better and excited. Days. And, and, and how long was she in pain for? Oh, Are we years. talking months, years, 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 years and yes. years? I mean, again, waking up every day, yeah. going, you know, just getting out of bed, going, walking into the kitchen, you know. And, and, and when you live in a home that has steps, yeah. Oops. Yeah, you're going up and down the up steps down every the day. Time. I mean, that's. And then you start confining yourself. You're not going out because it hurts. You're not going in because, you know, I can wait a little bit longer. Right. That's and, incredible. And that's why it's so important to become pain free finally, is it's giving your life back the comfort and the capability you need, you deserve. Yeah. And, and, and she saw surgery as kind of the only option before talking was, to you, right? Like, she, that's it. Like, doctor, was I'm, I'm going to get surgery. Exactly. Yeah. Didn't, well, actually, she had an interesting experience. Uh, a lady near her had had, quote, stem cells by a doctor who probably did the liposuction. Yeah. And uh, had been in pain weeks and weeks and weeks afterwards. And I go, I'm not supposed to work like that. But that. I don't know what they did, but it's not what we do. Yeah. And so she was delighted to find herself 
pain-free finally, okay? And that's why we get such wonderful results. Right. We pay attention to the product and the process. Yep. Now, I, I bet some people, A, they want the results, right? right. Everything you're talking about, they, they want it to be in a safe environment, which obviously you've, right. you've taken really big measures to ensure the safety. Exactly. Uh, but I think one of the things, the objections that come up is 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 the investment, right? The, Absolutely. The, the cost, will insurance cover this? Am I gonna be out of pocket on my own? Absolutely. I mean, uh, talk a little bit about, about that side of it. Well, here's the deal. What we're delivering is what we consider to be, you know, the Olympic gold medal, okay? And, and people train for years, they put a tremendous investment in on that because they want to be top of their game, right. okay? And, and, you know, the future is bright. Universities are doing a lot of research to show that we can use stem cells in all sorts of different ways. But, but the deal is that when we do what we do the right way, all we're doing is turning on your natural healing. There's nothing more special than that. And you go, but that's pretty special because drugs suppress it and surgery replaces it. Remember, you don't get new joint, you get new plastic and new steel. Right. Okay. And, and so with the advanced research going on, that's really great, but there's a number of websites out there just loaded with jargon. And, and it, it sounds very scientific and it looks very good. It's just very confusing because it can lead anybody who's hopeful, desperate, scared. It can lead anybody into choosing something that's just not right, okay? Yeah. And, and and when you start treating joints and support tissues, that's what's ideal right now. Most studies have been done with it, and these cells are specifically designed to aim at joints and support tissues, and that's the healing you get. You can become pain-free finally. Which is what we want. Exactly. Um, now, I, I know when patients come in, you do tell them to be cautious. Yes. And you also load them with information, so much like you know today, <laughs> talking about that, but you have books, you have DVDs, you have, exactly. you want them to really know what they're getting into. Exactly. If they study up, okay, watch the DVD, read the book, ask their questions yeah. because we really, I mean, when it gets down to the final point, you still have to pass our questions just to make sure you understand what we're doing and yeah. that it's going to be the right thing for you, in my opinion. Now, does everybody get results? No, nothing works that well. But most people do, and most people get faster results, better results than they expect. We're, we're not promising on the internet, yeah. you know, this works for this everything. This miracle cure, yeah. It doesn't work for everything. Yeah. Yet. It will, okay, in the future it will. But if they read my book and go through the detailed understanding of it, then we have very few questions to answer because they go, oh, well, I read about that. Yeah. Book. I saw that on your DVD. Yeah. So. And I like also that mm -hmm. you work with patients that you truly feel that you can help. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. Because I feel like, again, most, you know, the clinic across the street, they're going to take anyone mm -hmm. with a pulse, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. there's obviously there's a lot of revenue to be made for Absolutely. a business on Absolutely. this side. Absolutely. But you can turn down <sighs> revenue because you really want to help people. Right. You're out there for the right reasons. Right. Yeah, I tell people the, the, the money never buttoned me for doing anything in medicine. It's just, I'm being paid to deliver the best decision you need, okay? Yeah. And, and so when you look at it, you know, it's important for people to understand what they're investing in is themselves, their future, their comfort, their capability, and really it's not just them, it's for their family as well, their future years and such. And so if you're gonna make an investment, it, it, you, would, you would study where you're going to put your money with a money manager yeah. much more than you do where you're gonna put your knee. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. It's like, just because the doctor said you need it doesn't mean it's necessarily true. Or I actually tell people oh, you need to go get an operation because you know I they might be in... at the the point exactly. you know of no return. Yeah. I, I trained in surgery. It's magic. It's wonderful. Yeah. If that's what you need. Yeah. You know I tell people don't ever say well it's the last choice. No. If you need it, it's the first choice. Right. If you don't need it, it's not on the list. Yeah. It's the right solution for the right problem exactly. at the right time. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what these are. And, and you know some people get really concerned about the insurance question. Insurance is not assurance that you're going to get the treatment that works for you, not the one that you'd hope for and so on, because insurance usually does not cover advanced medical treatment systems. Right. And, and so if you don't get the result, what happens is you go to, to insurance treatment, to insurance treatment, to insurance treatment, and you know, you suffer and that's why we see canes and walkers and wheelchairs and so on. Yeah. Uh, they're not pain free finally, but their insurance covered it all. You know, when you, when you look at it, medical decisions are among the most important that you'll make in your entire life. Right. And the reason is because it is your entire life. It, that's all we got, that's which is our body, right? Our mind and our body, exactly. that's it. Exactly. Yeah. And, and when you get the treatment that you've hoped for, you've wished for, and, and it's actually delivered, 
it's exciting. It's wonderful. I mean, you literally have discovered the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Yeah. You get the reward for making the right decision. Sure. And I much prefer that type of procedure than the anesthesias and going under the, the, oh the you know, being in the hospital for week upon weeks. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Now. Um, and rehab. I, don't forget rehab. Oh, and then rehab. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and, you know, our patient, the, the rehab for our patients is, okay, keep walking, keep gently doing things. Don't try and challenge it. Right. You're Let's not going to run an Ironman this weekend. Exactly. But, yeah. We're not doing this for the Olympics. We're doing this for your daily comfort yeah. and your capability. And that's the important Very thing. important, daily comfort. Now, I, I know, uh, you know, some reviews I've seen, uh, people in your office, they come around and they call you the after doctor right. doctor because, <laughs> right. you know, they've, they've talked to their doctor. Maybe they've talked to a specialist, you know, they, they've, they've been, you know, around the block um, trying to get rid of this pain. And then they come, yes. they, they come to you with that, I'm out of options right. stuff. Right. Many of our patients have seen several, not just a few, yeah. a dozen or more doctors. And, and part of the problem is each has a different medication or a different operation to Yeah, or a different opinion. Yeah. And, and you know, one of the problems right now is with the cost of insurance and deductibles and stuff, uh, you know, uh, what, where do you make this choice? Because you're going to get yeah. one good choice. And, and you know, some people call me <laughs> the, the answer doctor because I actually really talk with them in detail and really figure out what they need and give them answers that they need that are the right answers. That's the fun part. Yeah. That's how you get pain free finally. Yeah. And you're trying to, again, ed lead with education. Right. And uh, right behind us this whole time, painfreefinally.com. Right. You've got a website where you give it all away. You, you tell them, hey, right. here, here's some research. Here's some right. things you need to know. Here's, right. I mean, hey, talk about, you know, A, why you put education first and, and, you know, talk a little bit about the site and what people can find there. Yeah. I got to tell you, if you feel as, the, as people have felt a long time, that doctors are very closed about this. You know, well, I told you what to do. Yeah. Well, but, but, but why? Well, now we've got the internet. You can go to Dr. Google, you can get lots of, of information. The problem is processing that information correctly for you, which is why we encourage people, if you've got questions, ask us, because I'll tell you what's right for you, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And the question is, is so is, what's my opinion worth? Well, I got a lot of years behind me. These are honest gray hairs. My opinion is, worth what you need to be doing to get the best result you want. And, and sometimes we have to do workarounds. I mean, you know, patients can't do everything that they might need to right. do or want to do and such. But if we get the right answers for them, that's the service that they were looking for. Exactly. I mean, you know, not an injection that we're getting the right answer. And so sometimes I say surgery, sometimes I say our other pain treatments that we've been doing for many yeah. years without the drugs, yeah. okay, without the surgery and so on. The key is an informed patient is a patient who gets the results because that's why we work together. Exactly, and, and one of the ways that you start mm -hmm. to get some of these answers, you mm -hmm. get them taking that first step is mm -hmm. right on painfreefinally.com, you have a quiz right. that they can go through and right. they can honestly answer those questions right. and they get you know some personalized information, not exactly. just generic information. No. Tell me a little bit about that. It, it's real simple because when you go there, we're trying to determine kind of where you are in the process. Yeah. If you're not desperate, we're not talking pain free by you know stem cells, we're yeah. talking other mechanisms. Yeah. There's other ways of helping people heal. The problem comes down with the joint tissues like we talked at the very beginning. There's limitations on how well they heal. And so that's why people have you know these lingering back aches, lingering shoulder, lingering knee and hip and so on. And that's where stem cells become very important when other treatments have not been helpful. Yeah. And and we encourage people, hey, you know, send me your information and I'll give you my perspective on it. Right. And there's no charge on that. There's no obligation. We're here to help. And, and that's the only way to help is people who have honest questions yeah. and who figured out that they need the advice. Exactly. And we're here to give it. And they need to take that first step. Exactly. They need to start answering some of those questions. Exactly. And as you're watching this right now, I encourage you to go to painfreefinally.com. Go through some of the research, go through some of the information, but more importantly, go through this quiz. Start answering those questions for yourself and see if stem cells are the right treatment for you or if there's another way to become pain-free finally without surgery, without prescription drugs, without the you know strenuous rehab and everything that goes with drugs and surgery. Uh, Dr. Trowbridge, this has been an incredible conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. And again, I encourage you to go to painfreefinally.com, take that quiz, and we'll see how Dr. Trowbridge can help you.